Now, see, originally I wasn't going to post the video, but now I'm going to post the video. I'm going to show the video of four to five people with motherfucking guns and niggas sneaking the fuck out my homeboy. And that's, bro, in the video, you see me split the fuck out this nigga. So here it come. I'm waiting for the video. I'm waiting for the hotel to give it to me. Just be patient. The real video is going to come. And when y'all see the video, you're going to fucking laugh. Also, one thing, I don't want y'all to think I'm going back on my word about being positive. I'm just trying my best to make sure nobody tries to defamize my character and make me look like no pussy nigga because I definitely beat the fuck out that nigga and went dead in that nigga shit and slammed him on his fucking shit. Okay, so this is what happened. Me and my homeboy are standing in front of the hotel. Um... Dude comes over, says, what's up, X? Sneaks my homeboy. I punch him in his shit. I, I take him to the ground. As soon as I take him to the ground, my homeboy split him. And my homeboy split the other nigga. And then while I'm rolling with this nigga, you see me in the video rolling this nigga over. When I'm rolling this nigga over, you see the Migos, big-ass security guard, come over and kick me in my face. He kicked me in my face, and the other niggas come over and start kicking me in my face. And that's exactly what happened. One more thing, while I'm getting jumped, basically behind the cameraman, these niggas got guns aimed at us. Bro, you'll see it in the video. Basically, that's why my homeboy ain't end up rushing them niggas type shit. And ended up, I ended up getting jumped so badly, nigga, because they was holding straps to us. This shit, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to speed through it. Hold on. Where's that? There you go. Yeah, got it. Look at his neck. Yeah, got it. <laughs> yeah, got it. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. One more time for the one time. Yeah, got it. Oh, look, you see that hand? Yeah, I got Oh, look at his neck. Yeah, I got <laughs> Yeah, I got it. And look, look at, look at, look at pussy at homeboy. Straight to the ground. Straight to the ground, look. <laughs> Bro, I swear to God, when the nigga got split, he said, huh? Okay. Now, now y'all see, Migo gang got me to shut up all day. I gave y'all, y'all a little bit of clout tokens. Now it's my turn. Give me my fucking clout. Give me my fucking clout. Where is your hell, baby? Oh my god. The clout god has spoken. I have won this war. Good night. Do, do it look like I got left on better boots? Do it look like I got left on better boots? Hey, tell that nigga offset. Meet me in the ring, man. Celebrity boxing match, nigga. I'm on it, nigga. If you not on it, nigga, you pussy as fuck and you telling me you scared, nigga, because we gonna make money, nigga. So you better be on it, nigga. You pussy as fuck. He say, X, why you keep saying the Migos names? Because, bitch, I got to soak up all this fucking clout, bro. I got to get all the fucking clout, nigga. Every fucking token, nigga. Lesson today is niggas always want to pull out guns. Niggas always want to pull out knives, but niggas never want to fight. Like I said, I'm about the celebrity boxing match. Learn to use your fucking hands. If we go back to using hands and people start fighting like men, there probably won't be as much murder and there'll be more love. And One year that we dead, nigga. Two twins count my bread, nigga. Forty racks that I saved up on four folks outside of your crib, nigga. Eight shots bust your head, nigga. Both neighbors found you, you gone, nigga.